We're heading out the door, going food shopping. I think it's about 10, 30, 11. Uh, I forgot to check the time when I, when uh, I left, so. But it's anyway, it's November 1st, November 4th. It's uh, Monday. And the reason why I'm starting the BTS vlog like this is because once again, uh, looking at my fridge, looking at the list, there's a lot to do today, and with the weather being clear like this, uh, it's an opportunity to me, for me to get some of the things I need from the food store. So uh, that's what I'm doing. And I said, what happens with my uh, the, with the kitchen diner? That's the restaurant that I have inside. Um, I like to make my food fresh, and that means uh, extra trips to the store to get uh, what you need. Uh, so that you have the stuff that's fresh so that's why I'm going and everything should last me until Thursday uh, when I'll have to go for food shopping again again if you if you do it right you don't have to put a lot in your bag but sometimes if you're buying uh, items that well they're for long-term use they're, they're, they're the bulk items that's when it gets heavy so, uh, that's uh, what I'm doing now, and I'm walking uh, down the street, of course, and I'll uh, see you when uh, we get to the uh, department store. This is the section with all the lovely trees, and as you can see, uh, the leaves are definitely falling. It's kind of cold out, so, <laughs> but it does make sense because it is fall. Uh, uh, anyways, we have a busy day today, a very busy day today, uh, and a lot has to get done. As you can look on the website, on the YouTube channel, you'll see that we are starting to uh, become more of a TV channel. And as that occurs, uh, more and more work has to be done on the schedule to make sure that things are done properly. And the thing is, is because we're not just simply a TV channel, but we are a research institute. And this is sort of the reporting of that. Uh, the research also has to be kept up. So in other words, uh, the TV is in addition to the research. And in many ways, it's part of the research as well. So that work has to be done. Then I have some customers who need some technical help and some uh, work on the electronics bench has to be done because uh, I have some engineering projects to work on. And it's going to require the use of the bench. Anyways, I'm going to cross the street. So when I get to cross the street uh, and down closer towards the uh, woods. I'll uh, get further. In, I'll, I'll come back on and uh, talk to you some more. Well, we're back along the uh, back roads here. Once again, this is the back road I take to uh, go to TNT, first department store. And as you can see, all the leaves are gone from the trees. Uh, most of them anyways. They're, all these trees are stripped here, but there's some around the corner that are still have their leaves. Some die off quicker and fall off quicker than others, so uh, when that actually occurs and, and why that is, is uh, I guess uh, something that has to be looked into or researched. That's a, uh, a sort of a topic that can be researched by a, a, a scientist, someone interested in that some point in time. So these are, these are still green. Here, there's some yellow on the back. There's some darker red, which means they're further along and dying. That tree is completely bare. These are more or less okay. Here, they're, well, they're starting to thin out. And yet these are uh, all stripped. So. <laughs> That's the difference between them. Now the difference may be, if you want to look, is that the sun is over, over in that direction. 
So all these trees have direct sun. Well, the trees that are stripped are primarily in the shade. So that may be one of the reasons for the differences. So this is where I'm welcome. And this is where they've sort of created a field here. They fenced all this whole area off and they've created a wildlife field here. And it's, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a fair amount to explore now. And I actually probably will come here uh, in a couple of days just to sort of film around here to do some of the work on the wandering. On, sorry, on wandering, the new uh, web series that I'm putting together. So we get a lot here. And I'll talk to you again when we're getting close to the uh, department store. And I've done my shopping and now I had my way of heading, heading on home. I went to TNT and to another shop to get some stuff. And everything seems to be all right. I got some stuff for the kitchen diner. I got some food. I got the food that I needed. Uh, I'm gonna try out some new recipes. We'll see how everything goes. So anyways, uh, I forgot to vlog as I was going into the department store uh, just to check on some things that I wanted for later on. That's what I usually do is I always go pre-shopping first to see what I want and what the price is. And then after that, uh, I go back a second time to get what I want. So I never go the first time planning to buy things or what I want. It's always shop first, particularly for big ticket items. Uh, find what I want, see what the prices are, and then come back the second time. If really come back the second time, and I still need it or want it, then you get it. Anyways, see you back at the library, the labs, and the office. Well, we're coming to the end of another day of another, or I should say, another, end of another uh, BTS vlog. And it's, it's about uh, 9 30 in the morning. And you'll notice that the, the, the times actually vary a lot. They, they, sometimes it's earlier in the morning, sometimes it's later. But there's always a slow progression where it gets later and later and later and later. Uh, and at some time, point in time, kind of flips over. Anyways, uh, I was doing my YouTube show the way I usually do. And I sort of... Uh, sometimes I stop at a page and we have a discussion. Sometimes uh, I just go by the, 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 the channel or the video and sort of just sort of see what's going on. Uh, watch. The video is coming up on the uh, on the on the uh, subscription feed. That's what I usually use. I usually use a subscription feed to sort of uh, determine where I'm going to go. Although I do have a uh, channel selector here. Sometimes it's disorganized. Right now it's a little disorganized because uh, there's a lot of people and I've got to reorganize the uh, the channel selector to reflect the new changes uh, in terms of how I surf these diff uh, how I uh, go visit people's channels. And uh, one of the main channels I go I go by a lot is uh, Morgan Page Loves. I go by her channel in addition to uh, 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 Nerds Are Out. I actually found Morgan Page Loves channel uh, from Nerds Are Out. Uh, so I was at Nerd, Nerds Are Out, started noticing who her friends were, and from her there I found uh, uh, Morgan Page Love, and I liked her way she vlogged. And so I go by on a regular basis to just see what's going on. And, of course, I always comment, right? You can comment as you go. Well, I don't always comment, but I usually comment. Uh, if I don't have anything to say, I don't, I don't comment. So, But if I do have something to say uh, or can think of something, uh, then I do. And apparently, uh, this person, uh, uh, someone saw me there and decided to introduce herself to me. Her name is Laura. She has the, her, he had her own channel. She had her own channel named Laurology. So she invited me to come over to her channel and, and check things out and sort of, the, the, so I guess we were to hang out together on YouTube. And uh, uh, I went by and uh, started watching her videos. She, does, she, she sort of picked up the, the whole uh, Nerds Around, the, uh, the Morgan Page Love style of vlogging, the way I have as well. Uh, and I went by over the weekend, not really over the weekend, uh, I went by on Monday. <laughs> yesterday, I've lost track of my days. Uh, I went by yesterday, and uh, we had a, br a brief conversation. It was her birthday uh, recently, and uh, she was uh, talking about how she's getting old at, at old at twenty five. 
and the thing is that that's when when age starts to actually hit a person. Uh, you start feeling old at 25. And it does hit people like that. It, but the thing is, is that uh, this is where you can start making the jokes like, you know, you're only as old as you feel, and people start coming up with you, you know, <laughs> saying these things to you. But as a geek, uh, and because I never grow up, I am always playing with my toys. It you don't actually feel the age, unless of course you're not doing anything and just sort of sitting around all day long. Then then you do start feeling great because you haven't been exercising. But if you're going out and you're walking and you're going different places, you know you, you, you you're doing different things in terms of. Uh, uh, having different hobbies, whether they're on the internet or whatever, then uh, it's like you're still young. It's it, it's just that your your physical age changes, but the way you are uh, psychologically is, is stays the same. And that may sound not so good because it's oh you're still you're still very childish. Well, in yeah, some ways I am. And but people don't realize they seem to say that well childish means that you're not smart or not. Uh, in, uh, intelligent. Most people, when they, when they want to be intelligent, they want to be older. But the thing is, is that when you compare the capacity for learning, the ability to learn, uh, children have a much higher capacity to learn than adults do. So if you want to be an explorer, if you want to be, be a researcher where you're going out and exploring the edges of knowledge, exploring the edges of the universe, going out into places that are completely unknown, then you want to be a child because you want to have that learning capacity. So not, it's not it's not it's not a bad thing to be childish. If you want to be a scientist, if you want to be a researcher, going out to the very edges of knowledge and sort of exploring those outer edges, it's not a it's not a bad thing to be a child. It's only a bad thing to be a child if you, in terms of a scientist, is if you want that prestige and you want to have those awards and you want to be, if your science is all about being the professor, the quintessential professor, where you have, you know, the tweed jacket, the, you know, <laughs> the, the, uh, the, 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 the tweed cap and the whole bit. If that's the type of professor you are, that you know, pipe smoking tweed jacket type of professor, where the prestige is more important to you, then yeah, that that the, then uh, being childish is bad. If you're one of those uh, lab rats professors who spends most of his time in the library, uh, looking for the edges of knowledge, looking for the edges of the universe, then uh, the prestige doesn't mean anything to you, and being childish is is perfectly fine. Not even perfect. It's, it's what you want. It's where it's your desired goal, and if you could achieve that, then hey. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess age has its uh, its perspectives, and uh, once you start feeling it, if you're 25 and you're starting to feel your age, uh, you have options. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave this here for now. This is gonna be the end of BTS vlogs for today, for uh, the the fourth and fifth vlog. Uh, yeah, the November fourth and fifth vlog, and the number November fifth BTS vlog will start. In just a few minutes. Anyways, see you in about an hour or so. It's about 9.30 now. And I'll uh, probably get back in around 11.30, 12 o'clock. Alright, see you then.